Hello viewers, welcome back and I shall try to give you a little introduction or a brief summary about a travelogue written by William Darlimpal. William Darlimpal and the book title is City of Jeans, A Year in Delhi, 1993. Okay, So this is a travelogue and it is about the historical capital of India, Delhi. It is uh, the writer's second book and it has also culminated as a result of his uh, six year stay in New Delhi. So it is culminated or it is the product of the writer's six-year long stay in New Delhi. William Darlimpal, uh, he was born as uh, William Hamilton Darlimpal on 20 March 9, 1965. And he is a Scottish historian and art historian. And he, uh, he is also a curator, curator, photographer, broadcaster and critic. And he is also one of the co-founders and co-directors of the world's largest writer's festival, the annual Joy Jaipur Literature Festival. So it is about the writer. Now let's try to know about the book. The City of Jeans, it is one of the first books by William Darlimpal, which does not revolve around the history of India. Rather, it also represents various anecdotes of his time in India. And it also explores the history of India with the help of various characters he meets, like the Puri family, the driver, the custom officer, and the British sur survivors of the Raj, as well as willing uh, dervishes and Yunans dancers. Yunans dancers, and that was a strange mix of pity and bodiness. Besides Darlimpal, he had also depicted how ancient ruins and the experience of living in the modern city. He goes, so he goes on in the quest of the history behind the epic stories of the Mahabharata. And still more seriously, he had found evidences or testimonies of the city's violent past and present day, like the 19, oh, sorry, 1857 mutiny against British rule and the partisan massacres in 1947 and the riots after the assassination and riots after the assassination of Indira Gandhi in 1984. So now let's try to know a little bit about the summary of this book. So I would like to reiterate here one thing, and that is please read the original text. Please read line by line. Have your own perspective, comment, opinion. Okay, this is just a reference from someone you don't know in the YouTube. Therefore, you must read the authentic book. You, you have to read the authentic book that I will say again and again. Do not treat this video as your uh, only medium of study. Of this book or to this book so between unmanageable uh, crowded carts markets and traffic lie the northern plains of the centuries old nerve center of india called the city of jeans now known as delhi listen says that he who rules delhi rules india so city of jeans by william darlimpal is one of those brilliant narratives which leaves you pondering over the past and present of a city that you can call home or you call home so delhi as a society has inhabited diverse communities and individuals throughout the history and in the very prologue of the book or to the book, Darlimpal had celebrated the unique characteristics of the city, its annihilation, redefinition, and colonial past. The, the prologue also provides the readers with the journey in the history and culture of Delhi, a journey into the Orient with tales of Sufis and Jinns, decadent emperors with their harems and courtesans, besides beautiful Oriental women, women and fights of Petris. Furthermore, Darlimpal, by panning down his colonial hegemonic strategy, strategies he has also exhibited his fascination for india and particularly for delhi moreover uh, if you read the book then you will uh, also get to know about the old world of inans sufis calligraphers and khalifas facts of the past signify fodder for william darlimpal's travel nominations and his travel story is utterly and skillfully woven to, together to create a rich tapestry of humanity history culture and uh, culture, ar architecture, horror, and humor. So, so the author truly manages to bring out, bring out the India lives in many centuries, and is in his own words. A, a portrait of a city disjointed in time, a city whose different edges lay suspended side by side, as in SAP, a city of genes, Darlimpal's text repeatedly considered the British Raj and its legacies. The relationship between Indians and Britons is arguably represented through a sentimental and nostalgic lens by the writer himself. The na narrator, sorry, the narrative authority is principally achieved through autobiographical experience and the cultural capital authority of the author. So Dalimpal, he has also claimed that all the different ages of man were represented in the people of the city, different millennia coexisted side by side. And in the first chapter, the author has introduced us to Delhi's high pollution, population, crime and congestion, but still the city has been successful in pre preserving its own old history in the form of monuments, narrow lands, ruins, the people and the tra traditions. Besides, the author has also looked hard enough to discover the signs of the old life still alive in today's capital. For this, he has found survivors of each era in the present and thus manages to showcase a history series of past 
and present simultaneously. Uh, moreover, we are also introduced to Delhi with uh, acuity about a particular period of history, and that is nourished through a living person or a ruin. And in chapter two, two readers, readers are taken back to the timeline, timeline of the ass assassination of Indira Gandhi on the 31st October 1984, and her Sikh security guard sub-inspector Bin Singh pulled out his revolver and shot her. So I think you all are aware of how Indira Gandhi was shot that. So I would not reiterate here. And this was also followed by a volley of bullets from the gun of Bison's, Bison, sorry, Bin Singh's friend and associate constable Satwan Singh. Readers also encounters that within an interval of three hours and alarmed by the empty street stowed away from stow away vehicles from the public eye fearing there was a riot breathing in the city driven by strong anti Sikh sentiment. Uh, that's it uh, here. Actually, you cannot say this is a review, rather, oh, sorry, uh, summary, rather it is a little, a very little detail about the book. Okay, thank you so much for watching the video. Bye-bye.